Hey everybody, want to see proof that sanctions probably don't really work and do nothing but make people suffer? Okay, so Iran basically uh, has been sort of looking for ways around the whole Iran nuclear deal. Looking for a, a workaround or a backdoor through it, you know? <clears throat> and uh, US, the US has apparently recently tarred Iran's metal sanctions for Tehran. And Tehran has been relaxing uh, its nuclear deal compliance, which is why these uh, new sanctions on metal exports have happened. Both on metals and heavy water. <clears throat> this happened on Wednesday. Uh, Trump imposed the new sanctions on Iran targeting revenue from its exports of industrial metals. Uh, <clears throat> Basically, this has to do with Iran's uh, nuclear program. Now, Iran's president, Rouhani, has said the Iranian people in the world should know that today is not the end of the uh, JCPOA era, era, era. He said this in a televised address using the acronym for the nuclear deal. These are actions in line with the, with the JCPOA. This also has to do with the recent shipment of the four U.S. American bombers. Uh, to Iran recently. It, it is related to that event. Now I thought our side was suspicious. This is also kind of suspicious. Because many signs indicate that they may not necessarily be in full cooperation with the JCPOA. Uh, Rouhani th uh, threatened basically that in 60 days Iran would resume enrichment of uranium beyond the low uh, fissile purity suitable for civilian nuclear power generation allowed under the deal. The, these uh, sanctions have affected the oil exports in Iran somewhat uh, with a possible ban on oil sales which is likely to sharply increase the economic hardship for Iran's 80 million people. Now <clears throat> we need to be careful because this is why sanctions don't really work all they really do is force uh, a given country's government into a situation that is ultimately untenable and naturally that's the point and they think that's going to make them back down but the truth is it really isn't Instead, they're going to think it's unfair and look for a workaround. And this is precisely what they're doing. Now, Russia and Iran both blamed the United States for what they portrayed as Tehran's forced decision to send, suspend some pledges on a nuclear deal, according to the article, while putting the onus on European powers to guarantee sanctions relief for Iran. These sanctions we keep putting on people are just too heavy. In, so, in the cases of some countries, we're literally deciding whether or not some little family somewhere gets to eat tonight or not. It's sickening. Now, now see, here's the thing. Uh, a quote from uh, Morrison says that now is the time for the community of nations to strongly condemn Iran's nuclear misconduct and increase pressure on the regime to comply with U.S. demands. Except they're not really complying. They see it as unfair and they're looking for a way around it. Because this has to do with President Rouhani uh, making changes uh, that, seem that seem tailored to ensure Tehran avoids triggering the deal's mechanism to punish it. For violations. That's the current strategy. He's trying to get around the deal so he doesn't have to get punished and still get to sell enriched uranium or to buy enriched uranium. Now see, a halt to Iran sales of enriched uranium and heavy water uh, is part of the current deal with Iran. 
but the deal also allows such sales so Iran can keep reducing its stockpiles below maximum thresholds. In short, they can keep selling the stuff so they stay below the specified amount, but they still have it. They can still ship it out and then buy some back and ship it out and buy some back and still potentially make a few nuclear devices. That's actually extremely clever on Hassan Rouhani's part. This guy must be a very clever pragmatist. I'm starting to kind of see what our military was talking about here. I still don't like the, the policy of harassment and threatening that we've been engaging in, particularly with North Korea. But I gotta admit, Iran's behavior of late has been very suspicious. I, I will say that. But uh, currently, Iran's stockpile of enriched uranium is still well below the deal's cap, and heavy water is much less sensitive. So again, back in, like, say, the days of World War II, heavy water was a big deal. But now, in comparison to other elements, such as, ur such as enriched uranium, heavy water is not the, uh, the big deal it once was. So that's sort of, uh, sort of dismissible for the time being. Nonetheless, Iran has been maneuvering themselves very cleverly. They're clearly looking for a way around the deal and still try and have uh, the chance to build missiles or nuclear devices, possibly nuclear reactors. But could be something more than just a mere reactor. They could be looking to build an actual uh, thermonuclear device of some kind. Anyway, 